Alright guys, uh, still really disappointed about this whole situation with my bike. Um, did want to show something though. I'm going to do my best to get this thing fixed. Uh, you know, really disappointed earlier, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes with shit. You just kind of take that bad and try to turn it into a good. So, let me show y'all. Um, something positive I guess I got this dyno jet thing on here and it's right there okay and this is what I'm thinking alright that to my understanding controls the um, the fuel injection how much gas goes into this 70c 75cc big board kit well first off I gotta get the head gasket fixed I can get that done um, I should be able to crank that up somehow um, and I'm hoping to you know get, get a little bit more speed now it was going before I took it to them it would go 32 miles an hour now it goes 33 miles an hour well first things first I gotta get that head gasket fixed but um, secondly if I can um, crank that up somehow, I should be able to get it go faster, you know. Um, it does have a little bit more torque, like I say, like acceleration. But, um, you know, I'm probably losing some power with that head gasket seeping oil. Um, also, I know the air filter needs to be uh, replaced. I'm going to try those two things and see what happens. It could make a big difference. And um, But, you know, the process of me going for four months with this was ridiculous. You know, I, I didn't ride for four months. I miss bike week. I miss, you know, a good bit of the riding season, even though we have a really long riding season here. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a negative experience. But like I said, I'm going to try to turn this negative to a positive it was really ain't got no other choice but to do that. But um, thanks guys for watching. And um, hopefully I'll be riding a bit more. I, it's going to be hard for me even not to ride it with this seeping uh, head gasket it rides. So uh, I will do that. I'll catch y'all later.